friends and welcome to vlog number two of my brave exploration of Te Reo Māori and Māori culture. So in today's episode I just want to share a few quick tips um, for anyone out there who's like me, an absolute beginner to learning Te Reo Māori and um, wanting to just fast track your learning a little bit. So three quick and um, fast and dirty tricks that you can uh, employ that I've used that uh, without really meaning to, by the way, this is just things I've gathered over the years that have actually made my learning a little bit quicker. Okay, so number one, something that people find really difficult, I think, with Te Reo Māori is actually rolling the R's. So I had a bit of a head start with this, okay, uh, hands up, I'm going to fess up. Um, because I um, know a little bit of Italian, the language, Italiano, um, so poco Italiano, and there's a lot of rolling of the R's in Italian, right, in the Italian language, so obviously I had a head start with that, um, learning, you know, Italiano, so everything is rolling the R's, bellissimo, Roma. I think even without all the rolled R's that you find in the Italian language, you know, there's a lot of, um, it's a very expressive language, so you have to get used to, you know, making your L's that bit juicier, bellissimo, you know, everything is rich and it's like you're eating a delicious cake when you speak Italiano. That's how, you know, I've come to understand, um, you know, how to get that pronunciation on point, right? Um, and yeah, I mean, I love the Italian language and, you know, I am actually tempted to do a whole other, uh, you know, segment on, you know, my, my adventures in Italiano, even though it feels a world away now from, uh, Altera. um, obviously being uh, born and raised in Britain, it was, it was on my doorstep and I spent many happy weekends in, um, places like Venice, Venezia, and oh all over Sardinia oh beautiful beautiful country beautiful people and beautiful culture um so yeah that's my head start so you know you it might seem a bit extreme to <laughs> add another language into the mix when you're already learning um one that's probably feeling challenging enough I know it is for me um but it, it might actually help you and I think you know listen to Eartha Kitt you know she she goes she does those prowling kind of cat sounds you know you want to get used to making those um movements with your tongue to help you roll your r so that when you come to say kiara you're not saying kiora and annoying all the uh, maori people so yeah that's just a thought it's, it's what worked for me and i hope it works for you too if there's a bit out there <laughs> point number two is um really just about listening Fakarongo. so listen 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 for me that is probably you know my favorite and the best way for me to learn if you think about it that is how you learned your mother tongue you know when you were a baby you know you just sat on your mum's lap and listened to her speak to you you learn um you know melodies and nursery rhymes and had books read to you so for me that's a super powerful way to um learn te reo Māori is to listen listen to everything and find what works for you find the things that your favorite things to listen to for me Maisie Rico is one of my favorite Māori artists probably my favorite actually and you know her music played at my wedding you know she has it, it has her voice for me has power and depth and um, the power to move me. And I think if you're trying to commit things to memory, you you need to find a way um, to feel moved that, you know, you actually you actually care about what you're learning and it somehow can sink a bit deeper into your into your mind. So for me, um, you know, I love listening to Mezi Rika. I think her latest album is amazing. Like, unfortunately, the lyrics are not on Apple. Um, I haven't found them on Apple iTunes when you when you go into the app, which is really annoying. But I guess it would have been too much work maybe for, for someone to kind of put them all down. I don't know. I don't know why they're not there. For me, that's really frustrating. Listening to some of the melodies and the choruses particularly, which tend to have the hook and tend to be kind of catchy, is another way that I love to learn. I love the song um, that goes... Um, so beautiful so gorgeous you know um for me that's like the best way to learn a language and what you can do with um songs and um pieces of music it doesn't have to be Maisie obviously that just works for me but it's like you you break down some of the words 
and you, you when you try to pronounce them and try to sing them or whatever and it doesn't matter if you can't sing by the way no one's gonna no one's gonna know you you don't necessarily have a youtube <laughs> putting yourself out there the way i am uh which is very brave and i, I don't even recommend that really um, but you know, the point is it just has to speak to your heart. And, and for me, that's one of the songs that, that does, but, and I didn't know why. And I started to look up some of the words and, uh, Tipua Nuku, there's a star. Is that right guys? Tipua Nuku. So I, I just love that song. And, um, and then I found that actually, uh, Tipu can also be Tupu. So, in, and depending on, and I'm, I can't remember the rule about it, but I just found that fascinating. And I actually named my, uh, I, have, I have a beautiful plant. I love plants. I love my garden. I love trees. And I have a, a plant which is actually um, called a Black Knight Ficus. It's a beautiful, dark leaves, gorgeous. I just recently bought it. It's my pride and joy at the moment. I keep, every time my husband walks through the room, I'm like, look at my baby, look at my plant. You know, it's totally ridiculous. But I was struggling to name my, my plant. I like to name my, my plants, my animals, my my whatever I like I like don't know about you guys but that's something that we do in our house and I couldn't figure out a name for my for my beloved little plant and um when I learned that word I thought well that's perfect so so he's called Tipu uh and I understand it could be Tupu so I'm not sure the rule about that and that's something that I'm still learning because this is a work in progress right that's the whole point uh it's the whole point of this um series right to encourage you to just explore and as I say my main point here is that you know by learning a song you start to look at the words and break them down and look up their meanings and suddenly you've learned I don't know two or three new words right so I really love that as a, as a useful tip I hope you do too. Point number three is really linked to point number two and that is about um, basically not worrying about learning grammar at the early stages um, so this is something that for me makes learning a language really onerous and oh my goodness I still remember because I actually had formal lessons with Italian and you know I was lucky I had an amazing teacher and she made it really I mean she brought so much energy to to the classes she was really exceptional um, so for me that made it learning even the boring horrible structural grammar doable but I think in many cases and and certainly with Tereo Māori I haven't found a teacher yet who uh keeps my attention and my excitement about learning the language because it's very easy to give up you know if you've if you've ever tried to learn a language that isn't your mother tongue you will know how difficult it really really is and you know I think it you know I, I encourage everyone to learn another language because I think it gives you a, a newfound respect for those who try um, but yeah, I mean, that is, is something that I, I, I heard this somewhere, you know, don't worry about the grammar. And I thought, God, that's kind of blew my mind a bit. It was like, yeah, I think that's actually the way I need to approach this. Not worry about the grammar, but, but just concern oneself with getting practice in, in pronunciation, in immersion, full immersion. That could be through music. I use the radio. I love watching documentaries. I've just got into watching documentaries. I'll try and link, um, below the series and the channel that I like on here on YouTube that um, I found is just so beautiful. You know, lots of elders kind of sharing their history and it's purely in Tereo Māori. So there's no English, there's English subtitles, but you're, you know, you're completely listening. And it's what's so beautiful, well, two things that I like about this, this is some further tips for you, is that older people tend to speak more slowly, not always, of course, but I find that they speak a bit more slowly, so it's easier to kind of pick out some words. And because that pronunciation is is a bit more um, kind of graduated, you can hear the words that you already know. And it's like, oh, I know that word, you know? So uh, yeah, I heard lots of words in, in the documentary series that I watched recently that it just really warmed my heart and it encourages you. That's what you want. You want to feel encouraged to keep going and keep trying. If you are new to learning Te Reo Māori, then let me know in the comments below and give this an extra thumbs up. <laughs> I know you can't really do that but you know drop me a heart and and let me know what your takeaway is from this um what tip is going to be the most used to you and my dear ones I look forward to seeing you in the next vlog. Kia ora!